How's it going everyone? Scott McKay here from Thinia Graphics Airbrush and Design Studio bringing you another quick tip in part of my down and dirty tricks of custom paint. Today I'm super stoked to let you know that Adobe has finally put Illustrator on the iPad. So for years I've been doing my vector work on my computer uh, via either a tablet where you draw on the tablet and look at the screen which some people have a problem with disconnecting because you're not looking at what you're drawing. Then I moved up to having the larger Wacom screen, which is the one you direct draw on screen. So when I'm doing like skulls or portraits, things like that, a lot of times I would do the rough with my pen um, to get all the gist of it. And then I would go through and clean up everything with the um, with all the pen tools and all the commands to clean up your paths and things like that. But they finally put Adobe Illustrator on the iPad, which makes the new generation iPads with the pen incredibly useful now for this. Um, it's incredibly user friendly. It just dropped uh, a couple days ago. They've been teasing it for about a year and so they've had people on beta for about a year and it's finally out and it works super great. You can do the vectoring with the pen, simply save it, bring it up to your computer where you have your plotter hooked up to. You can do a couple little cleanups if you need to, uh, which you don't really need to depending how well you lay out the pen and you can just go right to it. So I want to show you a little bit of it right now, how it works, how quick and easy it is and uh, let's get to it. So I got my iPad here, you know, basic iPad. I have it open up. This is the Adobe interface. I'm gonna pop out here. Yeah, let me pop out of the whole thing so you can see what it is. Adobe Illustrator, an untitled piece of work that I'm working on right here. And what I'm gonna do, what I am doing is I brought in an image I designed um, on my iPad that I drew. Uh, you may have seen a, a uh, time lapse of this piece so I want to vector it and basically what I ended up doing and I'll, sh I'll walk you through it is I take the image I'm going over to this menu here which is properties it allows me to dim it down so I can dim it down so it's a little bit easier to draw on top of so you can see what you're doing then I go back to my layers and I lock it and I lock it so I can't I can no longer edit or grab that image. It doesn't do anything. Um, so actually, I just undid it. If you notice that, I locked it. Adobe Illustrator does work with the, with the double tap. The two finger double tap is an undo, which is really awesome. You'll see how that comes into play. And then I created this vector here. Okay, this vector here is ready to go. It's ready to send to my plotter and or I can adjust it. I can you know, go through and do any of the adjustments just like I was in Adobe Illustrator without any issues. You know, I can move it, change it, but how did I get there? Um, you know, I'm a big believer and you need to know how to use, you know, the pen tool and how it works and doing all the you know, normal things a pen tool does. Uh, that's gonna help you with editing later, but to get the initial gist of it, I'm gonna just hide this for now. I'm gonna show you how I did it. Make a new layer here, which you can just simply tap right up here, hit add layer. And I'm gonna to go to, instead of the pen tool, and you know, the pen tool is dot to dot, you know, curves and straight lines, which then you can manually adjust later. I'm gonna to go to the pencil tool. So the pencil tool is more of a freestyle tool. And this is how easy it is for me to zoom in here. I'm just gonna go through. Um, I, you can set like smoothing. So like if I leave it at zero, it'll, it'll get pretty much every, every line. It won't try to autocorrect. Now if I turn up smoothing to max, shakes like that will become smoothed out and smooth arcs. And you're halfway in between. It'll slightly correct for any jitter and work it out. Um, I don't, you know, I've been using pens for a while. Um, and tablet, so I'm gonna just keep it, I'm gonna keep it at two, because I like to see some of the, the body shake. Um, I'll purposely do it in the lines. So, pencil tool, I'm gonna put it on smoothing two, and then I'm just gonna go around like normal. See, I like that little shake, little eye socket here, and connect it up, easy. Move around the board. Yeah, let's see where smoothing come in handy. I'll make the eye a little more round here. If I don't like it, I can double tap undo. Go from here and I can erase that line back if I want. And 
that's ready to move on. So you'll see how valuable this is going to be uh, for those of us who do a lot of vector work uh, for our custom motorcycle paint and graphics and things like that. How quickly it's going to be to either outline a portrait, create a template, uh, or stencil with our plotter, um, or just you know simplify line art if you want to hand cut it. If you don't have a plotter, this is still great to learn because you could take this, break down a drawing to its simple form, and um, you know use it as a paper cut type. Uh, what I teach in my down dirty. Uh, down and dirty tricks classes that just happened at the Everest Art Circus uh, is how to use it, the print and the plot file at the same time. So what I do is I size them one to one, how I'm going to actually cut it, and um, so my print is the same size as my plot file. So a lot of times I'll keep my uh, plot file relatively simple not a lot of detail, I'm just kind of pulling out key structures, especially if I'm doing the design more than once on a motorcycle. So for example, uh, one on each side. So we'll keep it simple like that. And then I'll do the traditional, you know, either freehand or paper cut technique to do any of the details. Well, you can see, I'm just going through and I'm just giving a little ticks and shakes. I don't want to look all super, super smooth. You know, is does this replace knowing how to use the pen tool, you know, the structure of Adobe Illustrator or vector-based programs? It should not. You should really understand, you know, how to go in uh, either with this tool and like edit, pass, and move them around. Um, and obviously in Adobe Illustrator itself, it's way more uh, comp complex. It has a lot more options, but it still does all these basic features. Um, you just don't have to have it hooked to a, you know, uh, either like a Wacom screen, which are you know quite expensive um, and worth it. But if you don't have one, uh, this is you know the next best thing because you have a pressure sensitive pen, which doesn't really matter for this. Um, but you can do um, pressure sensitive tricks if you go to the paintbrush here. So if you were doing like a cool, you wanted like a thick to thin signature you can do this and it will go to it's already vectored ready to go so that's huge 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 let me undo that because we don't need that I'm gonna go back to my pencil and I'm just gonna wrap up the skull quick so basically once once you're done with all this yeah I'm just gonna kind of cruise through it you can't plot directly from an iPad, at least not, not yet, not that I know of. Uh, maybe that's something that'll come because you do have so much USB interface now on the new iPads and things like that. But, you know, it's really simple. You just export this out, you know, from here. And I'll do this in a second as soon as I get this Mohawk done. And we'll do the match. And there she is. Nope. I want to turn the smoothing off so it doesn't try to connect everything at the end. So there you go. I just vectored that super quick. Let me show you. We'll turn the uh, image off. That's going to be the plot file. Let me turn it back on. I'm going to do this eye really quick. Turn the smoothing back up. Turn the art off. You know, maybe we'll go in here and we'll do the nose bridge and things like that. So from here, all I have to do is go up here and I can export as a PNG, which would just be an image, which I don't want to do. You can publish and export social media. Uh, or if I exit out, it'll actually save it in my cloud file, which is set up through Adobe, which I can just pull into Illustrator. But you can go out as an AI or PDF. Um, some programs use uh, SVGs as well. So these are the three that I've maintained vectors. PNG makes it an image, PSD keeps it an image, uh, as far as I know in this point, which is not plotable. But these AI, PDF, SVG maintain the all the nodes and paths and things like that. So you have everything here. Um, so it's very, very simple, just publish and export, AI, export out. It'll tell you what it's going out to. 
and uh, go from there. So super easy. Once you get that done, all you're gonna do, all you're gonna do is open up whatever um, design program you're plotting from. Most of them will open up a PDF uh, or an SVG. You can import them into most programs. It doesn't have to be Adobe Illustrator to plot from. You know, I use a Roland uh, GX24 plotter, which uses Cut Studio. So that software will import um, those files as well, or many other things will import an AI directly into it. So from there, you can just do your basics and go to plot. So super stoked that this just dropped. I just got it yesterday. I think the official drop was today. Uh, if you already have Adobe Cloud, this is part of it. Uh, the app works, it's already part of your subscription. Um, if you don't have Adobe Cloud, I'm pretty sure you can get Illustrator app by itself. I'm not sure the price on that, I have to look. But if you're looking for a way to vector stuff or keep everything simple and portable, you know, from your iPad, you can go in and draw direct on the iPad. You can import it in Illustrator, vector it, I'll put it to the computer where your plot is hooked to, and you're good to go. So super stoked to share this with you, and uh, stay tuned for more quick tips, and have a good one.